There's an attractive woman with my car for a photo shoot. But before we get into that, let's learn about lighting, camera setup, and color correction. Then we'll head to the seaport for some fun. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you're watching the process of how it has to be done when you are properly filming for a YouTube channel featuring myself. This is a... Uh, properly. Yeah, properly, yes. How the pros and we have some help. This is how the pros do it. And I am taking notes because that is exactly what I have to do in order to step my channel up to the next level. But I'm still filming from an iPhone. And people are always like, why don't you step up your game? And I'm like, oh, I don't know. The iPhone should not be slept on. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say, man, people are like, all you need is an iPhone. Check it. What phone is that? Yeah. 12? This is it's still, I think, Max. yeah, it's a Pro it's Max. Pro Max? Okay. Yeah. The first YouTube video that I filmed, like, having to do with cars was yeah. on an iPhone. And it was on an 8 Plus. The only reason I got, I got the 12 Pro Max or whatever. The only reason I bought this was because Dre roasted me so much for filming him with a phone with a cracked lens he was like yo you're a fucking video like creator why, yeah. why why do you have this old ass phone yeah. get something nice i essentially bought that phone a to get a new phone more storage but also to be able to shoot oh, more youtube yeah. videos yeah. absolutely i understand the power of it good yeah. audio good video you have three lenses like yeah maybe get a nice mic for it but other than that you can do a lot with those three lenses yeah so let them know what your youtube channel is because i'm gonna put it in the description below my youtube channel is tom Grelick, and i have a series called car stories i also film like other random vloggy type videos some diys like this is jackie from king's automotive yes film i'll put that DIYs. in the description below right over here yeah. <laughs> film a lot of videos at his shop of yeah. uh you know, how to do this and that. Like we just did a big brake install kit on an E92 M3. Amazing. He's done a couple of things on my car, which uh, F3335 I, like a clutch replacement. Plus the lay valve. Cl delete. Yeah, CDV delete, a couple of things. Got pure yeah. stage you know. two's coming next. No pure stage two's coming next. <laughs> M3's coming next. <laughs> M3's next, okay, all right. Tom Gorelick, we're gonna make sure that you guys get on that. Make sure you subscribe to his channel. He's got a lot of good content. Uh, I was part of the Wilson Tang shoot, which was an amazing shoot that I was glad to be a part of. He is the mastermind behind that film. I will also link that in the description below. Yeah, so this right here, I don't know if you want to get close on the light in the back there so that people can see the, the brand of it. It's a Godox. It's like the budget version of an Aperture 120D, let's say. This kit, I bought it for like just under seven or 800, but now it's like close to nine because inflation. Of course. And these are called Cobb LED lights. You could do a lot more with them than you can with like a regular panel LED light. Yeah. They're way brighter. You can get different types of lenses for them to like. That, nice. Which is why I have this four foot Octobox to like really soften the light. You know, I want to make this beautiful home look beautiful in the background while I'm filming you. Thank you. The next thing we have is cameras. The man comes ready. The main camera is a Panasonic GH5 really can't see the branding much because I have a whole cage on it right now. This is my go-to. This is my baby. I have a 24 to 105 Canon lens on it right now. And it's adapted via a Metabones Speed Booster XL. So that's the 0.64 magnification. I'm sure if you know, you know, adds extra light. If you don't, what it does is takes this very small sensor and enlarges it essentially via uh, less than one magnification. The other camera I'll be using, the GH4, which is the predecessor to the GH5. This thing was revolutionary when it came out in 2013. It's 2022 now, yeah. and I'm still using it, so it just goes to show how good it is. I'm pretty positive that the 4K on this is 10-bit, so when it comes to color correction, it's just fine. You can shoot in a Cine-like D uh, picture profile, and you'll have great ability and great latitude to mess with the color and all that. Yeah. This one does not have a Meta Bones. I cheaped out. I actually bought the GH5 with this Viltrox Speed Booster, which is just a cheaper version of the Meta Bones. You really can't tell much of a difference. The only thing is that this one is um, less magnification, so it's not quite as superior as the Meta Bones, but still plenty great. I have another camera that I might stick to the side of your car later, but this is just a small Lumix GX85. It's actually really good for what it is because although it's small and tiny it's got in-body stabilization you can actually see almost like a gopro or like the latest iteration of the gopro so well gopro actually has uh electronic stabilization this is yeah. legit 
See how the sensor moves around inside? I don't know if you can really tell. But it basically, oh, yeah. the sensor uh, sits on the It prevents it from, from shaking. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So this is the exact same tech that you find in the GH5. Mm -hmm. It's obviously not as high tech as the GH5, but this is a nice little B or C cam for sure. So let's get ready for the interview. We've got a camera setup going here and a microphone with a nice little box. In France, they call it lavalier. <laughs> All right, guys, whole film crew's here. I just filmed my part of the interview, so the only way you could watch this interview is by logging on to Tom's channel. And I'm gonna leave that in the description below, as I said earlier. But look at the amazing setup, two cameras. And there he is. He asked some of the best questions that you could possibly ask. There's so many options for lenses. Canon glass, mm. historically, has always been really good. That yeah. and Nikon or Nikkor. And then there's like a bajillion other brands that make prime lenses, like Cine prime lenses. This happens to be, I have a set that I bought off uh, Facebook Marketplace of some Rokinon Cine primes. This is the DS line. For the price, they're really, really good. They're super fast. I bought a couple ND filters for them just so that I could really manipulate that light and maintain shallow depth of field, even in uh, very bright uh, exposed shots. And then, like I said before, they're mated with these uh, speed boosters. This yeah. is the build trucks. That's the Meta Bones. This thing is going to cost you like a quarter of the price of that one. Not that much of a difference. It's a pretty basic setup, just the one light setup to try to kind of counter all the natural light that we're getting through the windows and the skylight. If you want to be really pro about things, about your videos, shoot in a flat color profile so that you can color grade it later. That's where I was talking about the bit rates earlier. If you're shooting 10 bit color space, it's gonna be very crucial for you when it comes to coloring because then you have so much latitude to do whatever you want. Coloring or color correction is essentially the process of adding back in color information, contrast, mm -hmm. messing with your exposure, shadows and highlights, all that. It's like I get the Alfred Hitchcock right here when you look that way. <laughs> Because <laughs> the, the background... Oh, I get silhouetted? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> if I wanted this interview to be super dramatic, I would maybe kind of add like a bluish hue to the shadows and the mid-tones. Yeah. I would bring down the... Like the way they did in the movie Traffic. Whenever they were in the city, everything was like a blue filter. When they were in the desert, everything was yellow. Ozark, you familiar? Ozark, oh my yeah, god. that's always blue. Always blue. Yeah. Yeah. It's supposed to be kind of dark, like... Like looming danger all the time yeah. type of vibe. I personally shoot in center like d or v log l obviously v log is going to be a bit more flat and have a little bit more dynamic range but again i don't have v log on this camera i just like them both to match up so i leave it on cine d it's the included color profile on both cameras so and it's plenty good especially if you're again if you're shooting 10 bit color space yeah you'll have you'll still have that latitude to manipulate the color as you wish we're gonna head on to the next scene we're gonna head outside it's not only setting up the interview cameras indoors, we took the elaborate setup to the streets. An entire camera setup was engineered from the tow hook with triangular stabilization, just so we could get the right photography. Ladies and gentlemen, now that the rig is finally set up, we are ready for some action. While Jackie was driving, Tom controlled the remote from the passenger seat and he was able to get the best angles of the car. So the car that we're going to be filming today is my trusty Porsche 911, a car that does pretty much everything right in terms of performance, looks, and just being aesthetically pleasing overall. Porsche coffee cup, fun stuff. And of course over here, we have a GoPro mounted right over the logo, but this car is looking lovely, it is ready for the rolling shots. Jackie is going to be driving and the control is going to be done by Tom. Jackie and Tom did it again. Jackie was the perfect pace car and Tom rolled out the perfect shots. Watch the full video on his channel. Uh, yeah. So now we made it to the photo shoot and now we're capturing Brooke Irwin at the South Street Seaport doing her thing. He's capturing me. Yeah. 
So Brooke, tell us about your channel or your Instagram account. That's a good line. <laughs> Not much to see, but I'm growing it. Yes. There you go. We will plug that information below so you get all the maximum traffic from from car dudes. <laughs> There won't be any glare, right? You can just shut the door if you want. Yeah. You got it? Yeah, like I want to get like the glare of the windshield. Oh, that'll be a good shot. All right, photo shoot is done. We got J. King's Auto. We have uh, Stephen Mills Design. We have Brooke Irwin as well as Tom doing, thank you, appreciate it. And we have Tom doing the final iterations of all the beauty shots, all the B-roll. He's just capturing it right now, so he's super busy. But we had a successful two photo shoots take place in the same day here at South Street Seaport, beautiful Manhattan. And we have the beautiful car just right here in the background. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Today was an exciting day. I look forward to making more videos for you and I'll speak to you soon. Take care.